spoken something and you say this is more like a regional thing in the OB case. Now the government of River State once said that uh, uh, OB cannot win the primaries and that's why he left that. He has even told his people in their presence that their son cannot win. And you have also said that OB has no post anywhere. But if you see what I saw yesterday at the Wadata frontage in Abuja, the crowd that OB has, and I almost saw the youths. And OB is known to be a man who does not give out money. In fact, one of the reasons he's leaving the, the PDP is because, according to him, he's been highly monetized. And so he cannot stay in such a place where people have just used money instead of looking at the a good candidate. Now, Obi seems to be the hearts of even the youths of this country. And you are saying that because his poster is not seen everywhere, therefore he will not be. Would you really say that Obi doesn't get the character to be the president of this country because his posters are not out or that he has left PDP and so he cannot win? See, uh, politics for, um, is just like a business you must have some kind of investment. Um, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, bribery has actually become the order of the day in our political terrain. And there is no way you're going to talk to you are not going to part with some kind of money. You're going to spend money, you fold your vehicle, you're going to send your foot soldiers need to work, and um, 2011, I was part of the presidential campaign council of uh, uh, Google Lord Jonathan. Uh, there are things in which I saw, and um, I won't. Uh, he, he, he has actually have been able to to uh, I, to I, I've been able to get educated about po, 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 the, the political. Um, uh, 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 attitude of so many of the politicians. I, I told my director in our directory then that this is a different school entirely because I, I was since first hand and um, the way things were being run. There's nothing, there's no way. Peter, be yeah, you, you have told, you have told, you spoke about uh, qualities of Peter will be and um, on a platform whereby someone is campaigning for him. I actually have said this. Uh, he wasn't using his, his family were not using the official cars of the state. Uh, none of his family members got any contract from him. And uh, what have you? Good, fine. And um, yeah, he wants to contest now. Does, does he have the kind of money that as the likes of Artiko will throw around? Looking at the level of uh, poverty in this country today, people definitely that is hungry and um, needed food. It's not, uh, it's not about talking that we make him to actually have food or to, to, be, to be filled up. It's about giving him something. He will want the money, he will want money to go and buy certain things, and then he can actually listen to you. So he say who he was the piper that takes the tour. Okay. So I so, um, say that uh, without uh, people like uh, like we've heard, people giving delegates money more or less bribing them, then there's absolutely no chance. So are you like in this same case still citing Obi? Are you saying someone like Obi will not be able to get the job done because uh, he doesn't have the wherewithal? That means he doesn't stand a chance when uh, the elections pop out or when he joins another party and all that. Uh, it is, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not condemning, I'm not saying that Obi will not get the job done. Okay. There is, there is an example before, before promotion. Uh, the, you must go through the primaries. That's what we are looking at. Not getting. Oh, if it's possible for actually hand over the mercy to him on a platter of gold. Ah, Sir Peter will be. You are the president of this country. Definitely, I believe the likes of him will be ground running. 
but we are looking at what will take him to that the, to that level that's the next level so to say and that's what we are extraying and because he's not the one that is going power is not given yeah. he's taking yeah. and um so for for him to get to that that audio his destiny is in the hands of some people that are looking at uh -uh, you must <laughs> i cannot go home empty handed though some people have some people said uh, uh, said sent him there as their, as delegate as a delegate he must give them returns that's what we that's that's the reality of, in of nigeria today he can't go back to them and say there was nothing no look at the case of um uh is it uh Kaduna State? Where the son of the uh, uh, of uh, where the son of uh, uh, Sam Sam the primaries, right. he, call, he, call, he is calling back the money that he has given. Is be, because three of were contesting for the same people, and someone paid more than him. Absolutely, he's giving two million. Look at the, at the difference. So also it will come to play in PDP, APC, where it will be the determining, determining factor to get the ticket, not the person going to get the job done. We just pray that ever we spend, we'll be able to get the job done. So is that, a, and I don't think Peter will be as a kind of money, the likes of Atiku and Chinobu around. Uh, Dayo, let me take you. Back. Okay, sir. Let me okay. take you. Let me take you back to where you started. At some point, you were in the Good Luck Jonathan's campaign train, and he never won. At that time, Good Luck Jonathan was the president of the country. He has right to tell the governor of the central bank to give any amount of money, and we were told that Buari never had a dime. People supported him. Yeah. Now, if money was the in thing, Jonathan would have won that election. Exactly. Landslide. But people are no longer looking at that because that has been deceitful to all Nigerians. We've seen that monetizing our politics is the reason why we are where we are today. We are not moving forward. So people are saying you can collect your money. And I thank God the way they are doing things now. People are saying, OK, if I give you money, if you don't vote me into power, I'm going to take my money back. So this is a lesson for Nigerians money. to see. <laughs> This is a lesson for Nigerians to see that if you give money and you are not voted into power, we are looking at characters now. If it is money, we can compare just two politicians in the race, Ashiwa Tinubu and then the Waziri of Adamawa, uh, uh, Abubakar Atiku. These two people can run face to face and do what they want to do. But Nigerians are not looking at that. Are you still going back to the area where monetizing the politics of Nigeria could be the in thing? Are you sure Nigerians are not uh, money politics? I, I want you to do, do I want you to do your uh, research. Uh, look at the, the, a lot of people are hungry today, and people want to get self satisfaction first before they take this country. And being object, say if it's possible for us to do away with money politics all well and good i'm i'm i i'm not saying that peter b cannot win election in nigeria uh if we so many other people that believe in him let them if there is money to be spent let them make that contribution and support him let them compete with the likes of Tunumbu and and Atiku. I the same see the same faith being faced by um, Peter B is the same that that uh, Yemi Oshibajo is facing. The only difference is that Yemi Oshibajo has access to the presidential. Uh, to the presidential fleet and what have you, and he's still there. The, that's the only difference. Yet, shoulder to shoulder, Yemi Oshibajo cannot stand with Tinubu and Atiku in money spending. So I put him in the same category as um, as Peter Obi. 
And because of the people, see, you can you can not holistically say that I, our people are of money the, in this era where you are seeing the, uh, 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 all our youths go into Yahoo business, they want to live big, bigger than their, 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 their parents, and you think someone will be, uh, will be chosen as a delegate and they will bring money to him and we say it will not, or an electorate, an artist that have not been working for the past how many months, Someone gave him five thousand naira, and he will not take and turn. Uh, uh, let's be truthful to ourselves. Though we will still we will still do our electoral education. That oh okay, please don't. Well, you can collect money according to people, but vote according to your conscience. But people will still collect money. If we want the good, we want the good for of this country. We will do the needful. Peter B is moving out of PDP, and is not going into the ruling, but is going to a relatively new party. How many, how many uh, members can this be boast of us as the okay, I, the nation? I think I'll come in at this point. Does it you okay. uh, for for you said when Obi was in PDP he couldn't stand uh, shoulder to shoulder with some people and uh, he didn't really stand a chance there. Now uh, he's going into or probably we don't know for now uh, probably would move into another party and you're still saying he doesn't even stand a chance there because he doesn't have the numbers. So are you saying that this man is? a totally right loved person, a write-off, somebody who can't deliver. And uh, uh, remember, this is somebody that, uh, in the face of Nigerian politics, uh, during his tenure as governor, he was able to do that which almost no governor, anybody of that capacity was able to do. We're not saying that uh, what he did uh, is uh, uh, unmatched, of course he was doing his duties but he is like the first and only person who has been able to deliver so once you cut this man some slack you are like giving him a face of a total write-off mm. uh, earlier i said that if the presidency is to be given on a platform we will give it to Peter B, or should be given to Peter B. That doesn't does that mean that I've written him off? No, no. I'm not. I've not written him off. I said we're assessing what we're assessing is the primary. We are not assessing what each person is going to do when they get there. We are at the primaries that so he cannot get the ticket. Of him. He has moved or is moving to another another political party. And the political party that he's moving into uh, is, a, is the game of numbers. Right. Because Mr. OB have that kind of number. How many of these numbers are these as are today? Is moving with them to the new party? The new party, or the movement to, how many numbers have, do they have that will accept the candidate of Peter Obi? I told you, I've been issue that I'm being objective. Uh, in, I mean, uh, um, something is being watched across board over. I, 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 I cannot my tent with a particular candidate. It's saying this, but close that. I know what and what I will say. Yeah. Uh, so, B is a Nigerian. If he's not ready to serve, he will not put his feet forward. True. We can. So, so there are there are there are preparations. 
with the primaries that we take him there, does he have the numbers? Does he have any? Who and who are ready to partner with them to bankroll so many things that is going to to gain? To convince the electorate, you, you can he can't sit down in his bedroom and expect that because he has a pedigree, he has an artist as the governor of Anambra State. Nigeria is bigger than Anambra State. So I'm just being objective here about it. Even to know is coming. Tonubu is actually he is flying the kite of uh, Lagos State. What is the Lagos State to us? Lagos State is not Nigeria. Nigeria is bigger than Lagos State. It will be overwhelmed. Look at when uh, uh, Barack Obama became the president of the U.S. When he came in, his ear was uh, was black. Few months down the line, he has grown gray hair. Same thing with uh, my pastor, Pastor Yemi Oshibajo. <laughs> so is you go going to be overwhelmed with the marriage of problem in it. Look at when Solito was coming with I O to Anambra State. Look at what is happening in Anambra State as of today. So it is not about I, I tell people, I tell people that when you want to come into government, uh there is going to be a lot of promises. I would a, a, a air condition on in this country. Do you know how much is in the compass of, of, of the government before you, as you were going? So many people will get there and say that we met empty treasury. Okay. Dio, please. So let, let us say, be let us be to, real. I don't want to miss this. All right, Dio. Um, a lot of people yes. uh, pulled out even prior to uh, primaries in. Uh, the PDP especially, uh, we have some people who wrote in and uh, said they were not uh, uh, willing to uh, go on with the primaries, talk less of uh, going further in the race. Now, uh, these things happened. Some people are questioning, could it be coercion that made them drop this bid? Or is it because they're seeing people who have more popularity? Uh, how do you analyze the situation whereby primaries, uh, you know, have not even set in and people are already dropping their bids? It, could it be coercion um, from a higher force, like leave this, don't even go there? Or is it just the fear that they cannot match up to certain people or maybe they don't have the numbers or they don't have that, uh, the funds to progress as they go on. How do you analyze it? I, I, I want to believe that I called that last Friday that I was on the newspaper review. I, I, say, I, mentioned, I mentioned something. Uh, this is the stage in which we will know the, the we're going to separate the serious one from the other serious uh, aspirants. Um, and it is, it's about game. Uh, question we come to play. The full implication of whatever went into will come into play for you to want to drop you, the, your ambition. There was going to be promises and things because they, uh, uh, your, uh, your aspiration is all awesome. and And you cannot leave certainty for certainty. Uh, uh, when we're dropping 100. Million, million, millions of naira to get okay. sheet of paper that they're yeah. going to fill their names up. I, mean, I said something. I keep telling people. I said, "See, it's about business. It's, it's called political business. You're going to weigh it. Drop your own 100 naira into the coffers of the party. You'll be guaranteed an appointment." That's the that's the that's the whole thing. The if I'm a party, if I'm a card carrying, <laughs> if I'm a card carrying member of a political party, I will look, I will talk to my friends. Just give me just give me this hundred million or take a, a loan and let me drop it. I will I will definitely get that all at all, so to say. <laughs>
<laughs> I thought I thought an appointment will come. So that's uh, the, that's the mindset of some people, and some people definitely that's just that's that's the that, that, that's the basic thing. Some people will be coerced. Some people will be to talk about that. Oh, let's drop this. Don't worry, you will be made a gov uh, a commissioner somewhere in your state. You will be made a minister, or you will be appointed as chairman of a uh, uh, of a council of, of a board and what have you. Yeah. So that, that's just it. It's a, it's a game. Yes, sir. Prince Dio, before we let you go, let me take you a little bit back. We have uh, Mickey okay. there. We also have Sibajo, and then we have uh, Wiki. These people don't have the kind of popularity uh, as what you has. They don't have the kind of popularity and money uh, Atiku has. And if you look at what you've just said, Atiku is known throughout the country, just the way the vice president is known. As you what you is known only in Lagos. Wiki, uh, Wiki is known only in River State. Amechi is known in the entire country because right now he's a minister. <laughs> And then he was a former governor of River State. He was also known only in River State. Are you saying because these two people that have taken public office to the level of vice president will get the slot and people will not look at their character or the people will follow them because they have enough money? I, I doubt it. I doubt that uh, they're going to just get the... Uh, the party tickets just like that. There's going to be a fight. See, re re remember that is what we're going into in the next 72 hours or less than uh, is a is a, is a, is an election within the party that's going to be determined by just a few, a handful of the members, and they are the one that's going to pick who and who. They, electorate we're going to vote for and um, the your popularity first and foremost with your party members and um, definitely we have uh, representatives across states selling you your party members can be there physically but it will be way to be there physically which the fight has been has been doing over over a few so also Tinumbu, I think Abubaka is also doing the same. She has seen him in the north, and um, I, 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 I believe uh, Peter Obito will do the same thing in the few hours remaining for them to submit names to the to INEX. It is uh, it, 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 something that is going to be a serious fight, and because, because you are the vice president doesn't mean that you are going to get the party ticket. It's about your popularity and again about your spending prowess. <laughs> so oh, he oh, says. What do you even say about the, uh, more like the, the caucus who they've actually decided within themselves? It could be that. Uh, that's another factor. You are right. Like in the caucus too, they say, who listen to us when he gets there? Uh, if we say don't do this, it will be uh, not the ones that we say ah, who are telling me? Were you there when I was cooking all of this, this and the money that I you guys? Uh, all right, Prince see, Dio, Nigeria. Been, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, Prince Dio. It's been uh, fun analyzing yeah. this with you. Fun actually, because uh, even thank you with so the lightheartedness, we've been able to dig up some things and uh, set straight some facts and records. Uh, thank you so much for your thank time you. and we hope you have a lovely